Moving your Quick Connect project from dash code to Xcode is a fairly painless process until you run into some problems. So we'll show you how it's done here. Got a dash code project running. As you can see, the functions and the pictures show up properly. The buttons are working. So we'll click on Share and Deploy, which moves the needed files by default into your Sites folder. I'll move it into my desktop for ease of use. We'll create a new Xcode project, which will create a Quick Connect proje project and generate all the files that are needed. Then we'll delete files that we're going to move over from the Dash Code project. We'll also make sure that those are moved to the trash. Then we're going to import those existing files from the dash code project that we exported. We'll I'll want to make sure those are copied over and moved into their respective folders. Once those are moved over, because we've changed the location of the files, the location links in some of the files are broken, so we'll need to do a project find and replace. In this find and replace, we'll search for images forward slash parts forward slash and QC iPhone forward slash. Doing this will fix those references. Once we've fixed those references, we'll go ahead and select all the files that we've moved over and drag them into the targets folder. Doing this will let Xcode know that it needs to copy those files over for the iPhone to use. Once that's done, we'll compile and run it. If there's problems compiling it and getting it to run, go ahead and try going to the build menu and selecting clean all targets. Sometimes that will remove some problems that you have when moving the files over. And there we go. We can see it's running and everything functions and the pictures are visible.